Pablo Gunner here with Tim Rose. Who is the actor for? I was the actor for Admiral Akbar, Salacious Crumb, and Sice Noodles in Return of the Jedi. And then in Rogue One, I was Sholan, the White Calamari. Okay, awesome. You've also done work, uh, what is it, Howard the Duck? Did Howard the Duck. I've worked with Jim Henson, and there's only three Muppet movies that I haven't done. <laughs> so if you think of all the other ones, yes, I was involved in those. And um, done several TV shows, about 50 commercials, and I've been kept busy. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So you, your work is mostly, it's mostly uh, puppet base, is that correct? Yeah, I. they now call it animatronics. Okay. But animatronics are basically just puppets that cost so much money they don't like calling them puppets. So, you know, so it embarrasses the producers that they've spent a hundred grand on a puppet. You know, so. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't know Salacious Chrome and all those other characters. That's fantastic. Which would you say is your favorite? Well, the thing I'm the proudest of would be Howard the Duck, just because he was the leading man of the movie, so it was like quite an important role to play. And I'm very proud of the fact that his animatronics that is from the days when it all had to be done in camera. There were no computers to help us get things done. And I feel that we did a very good job of keeping Howard alive in every take all the way through the movie. So I'm quite proud of Howard. Okay, fantastic. And we've seen Howard the Duck a couple times in the Guardians movies. Are they going to call you back for that? I think if we see Howard again, he's definitely going to fall to the CG crowd. They won't ask me back again. So. Oh, that's too bad. I, I think that uh, animatronic, the puppets, that's definitely the better way to go. It, especially with Star Wars, I feel like with the new ones, they're trying to, I mean, they, I feel they do a mixture of both, but they're definitely trying to stick to the classics, and that's really awesome. So, and... and they, they listened to the fans, and the fans said, you know what, we like that old animatronic stuff more than the CG. And certainly for the new Star Wars movies, they've used a lot more animatronics. I know my friends and I, we're, we're working more now than we were 10 years ago. So <laughs> thanks to the fans, we've got still working. That's fantastic. And I know that like in the, all, even the Iron Man movies, they use a combination of like CGI and, and uh, a, you know, in machines, animatronics and stuff like that. So maybe, I have hope. I have hope for for the Howard the Duck, that we'll, we'll get to see your work again. <laughs> It'd be nice, because I always felt that I could have made a nicer duck than the one we did. We didn't have enough time to do him the first time, so I'm ready. If they want me to make him a good duck, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, awesome, fantastic. Are there any uh, future projects that you can tell us about, or that you have going on? No, not really. <laughs> um, I did, uh, last year in America, a guy called Paul Zerden won America's Got Talent, and everything that he did winning that was all animatronics that I'd made for him. And the most recent thing I've done was I just made two new characters for him for his fall, fall tour over in England. And um, I, I enjoy doing that now. I've got my own workshop up the back and I, um, like, I like helping people out. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Is there anywhere that we can check out more of your work? I've got um, AdmiralAkbar.co.uk where it sort of shows all the Star Wars stuff. And it also has my Star Wars collection, which is basically all the wonderful things that people have given me at these conventions over the years. I finally got that added to the website, so I'm proud about that. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube <laughs> from all the old movies and things. So, All right, wonderful. Thank you very much. And remember, it's a wrap.